And you know what? It's funny because there's a huge, you know, there's like, there's two schools of thought with the off-road community, right? You got your Toyota guys and you got your Jeep guys. You've got your, specifically, you got, you know, your FJ40 guys, you got your CJ5 guys. Let me know in the comment section below whether you're like Team CJ5 or Team FJ40. I love both. I mean, I feel like the thing is, if I was going to do like a purpose built off roader, I would do a CJ5. But if I was going to do like something that would be like a combination off roader slash, you know, drive around kind of thing, then I would do an FJ40. But at the same time, FJ40s have been used all across the world in really desolate areas, like just, you know, crazy environments and climates, you know, wherever that might be, like Africa, for example, where these things just go and they run and they last and they're still going. But I think still, like, if I was going to do a trail rig, I'd run a CJ5. And if I was going to do, like, an all-purpose off-roader, I would lean probably a little bit more to a FJ40. Like, if I was going to do, like, say, a vehicle that I would take out, you know, find an off-road trail, run to the top of the off-road trail, camp out for a few days, and drive back, FJ40. Absolutely FJ40. But if I'm going to do, like, a dedicated trail rig that I'm going to climb, you know, bomb through mud holes, you know, climb up rocks, then, then I would go CJ5. And I think that that lends itself a little bit more to the fact that CJ5s are a little bit more... Ooh, there's a cloaking point up there. You know, CJ5s are a little bit more common to find. You've got few more, you know, parts and stuff for CJ5s. But then again, there's a huge community around FJ40s. So, I mean, and then you get start getting into FJ40s that have, you know, Chevy 350 swaps and... You know, it just depends on what you want out of your off-roader. I've seen some FJ40 trail rigs, and they're insane. They're ridiculous. They're like these wild, crazy things that'll go absolutely anywhere at the drop of a freaking hat. But then again, you could have the same thing out of a CJ5. So it all depends on what you're looking for. It all depends on what you want. And it really all depends on what your goals are. I want to head up there and get that cloaking point. I kind of wanted to go to the left, but I want to get the cloaking point a little bit more. Like, I'm a little bit more interested in getting the cloaking point. I wonder if this is a map where you unlock one cloaking point and it unlocks that area, or you have to find them all and then they unlock the whole map at once. Because there's, there's been, like, multiple ways to do it on, on different maps. Like, depending on who made the map, depending on how, how they made the map. Ooh, that's some nice traction. Cloaking removed. Let's see what we... Ooh, parking brake. Let's see what we have. Okay, so it does reveal a big chunk of the map. We are, so we're here, and then this route runs down, I think if we follow this road, we should get down to where that cloaking is. I mean, it stands to reason that we should, so I'm all for actually heading back that way. Back up in my FJ. And I just realized, this is going to turn to night eventually, isn't it? Oh, that's going to be interesting. I haven't actually played spin tires at night in a long time. I generally don't, actually. I generally just play it during the day, um, or at least, like, the in-game daytime environment, just because I, I don't know, it, it's a little bit easier to film during the day in spin tires. Like, it's a little bit easier to highlight vehicles and stuff in, um, in the daytime. But, man, running this, running these at night, yeah, dude, you better be ready. <laughs> you better be ready, because it's... What am I trying to say? It's not the uh, it's not the easiest thing to judge because sometimes you can't see mud, sometimes you can't see a rock that's coming up, sometimes you can't see a drop off, and that's scary. But let's see, three quarter throttle, three quarter throttle in high should get us where we need to go. All right, you gonna get up or you gonna stall out, huh? Hmm. Hmm. We're full power in it right now. We're throwing mud everywhere, but it's all right. To be honest, it's kind of frustrating that we're not going that much faster than we were in low. We're just creating more wheel spin. And, you know, like I said, that's a little bit frustrating. But, at the same time, it is kind of realistic because no matter how you look at it, no matter how you cut it, spinning ain't winning. It, it really isn't. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, are all the roads going to be this soft, like, as far as mud? If so, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> we, okay, so the, both paths literally lead to right here. How am I going to approach this? 
Run it from the side, or... Head on. You know what? I'm gonna run it from the side and see how we do. And if it gets to the point where it's either, like, dive in or roll over... Like, literally dive into the mud or just roll over... Yeah, it's either dive in the mud or roll over. Then, yeah, we'll have to go through the mud. As long as we keep a couple of the, uh, like, a couple of tires on the outside, though, we're alright. Does it go this way? Yeah, it winds around. Okay, I'm gonna avoid that because those are really, really, really deep ruts. And I don't want to mess with them. I really don't want to mess with them. We can probably, yeah, okay. If we take the route less traveled, we can get a whole lot more progress a whole lot quicker. And a much lower risk of getting stuck. Up here, though, we're gonna have to take the- Whoa, no! Damn. We're completely stalled out. Damn. And I just realized the fact that we can't do anything about it. We can't really- Our only option is- Wow, back to the- Really? Back to the garage? Our only option is back- That's- That's sad. That's sad. Although, we should be able to get out there a little bit quicker this time. Yes, rescue please. That's depressing. That sucks. I mean, that really does suck. I'm gonna just throw it in high. Forget exploration. We're just gonna get it, basically. I'm just like, yeah, forget exploration at this point. We're gonna stay to the side of the trail so we can get extra grip. We're gonna do as much as we can to get back to where we were as quickly as possible. Because, yeah, no, I hate having that happen. I really should have just kind of bit the bullet and gone for the, um... Gone for the mud. I mean, it wasn't going to be that bad. I mean, really, it wasn't going to be all that bad to, to run this thing through. I mean, it's not a weak off-roader. It's, it's, you know, far from a weak off-roader. The only problem is, I was like, oh, maybe we got, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a shortcut around the mud. Nah, but that was just me getting impatient. I can't get impatient. That's the thing. Let's see. Winch. Yeah. I'm not gonna screw around with, like, trying to, trying to drive the thing out. I'm just gonna winch it if we get stuck. Until we get back to where, until we get back to where we were. And that's just kind of one of those things that can happen in spin tires, man. I mean, if you if you get impatient and you rush, you'll flip over, bad things will happen, and... <laughs> you Yeah, it's frustrating sometimes. It can be, anyway. Because it's one of those things where you're just like, Oh, man, I could have gone around that obstacle, right? I could have gone around that obstacle, or I feel... At least I feel like I could have gone around that obstacle. Which way did we go? We went... Oh, God, we went left, I think. Yeah, we went left. And I think we should be a lot closer now. Actually, no, you know what? It's probably just the exact same. Actually, no, it's not the exact same route. Just gotta come down through here. And there's a little bit of a shortcut we can run through. And that gets us right back up to where we were. So we're not that far away. I mean, it's not like we flipped over at the very end of the map. If we flipped over at the very end of the map, I would be like, nah, I'd, I'd, I'd be out of it. I'd, I don't know. I'd be, let's just say, I might have to, for once in like, you know, a very rare occasion, I might have to censor one of my videos. <laughs> but uh, this mud hole that gave us a lot of trouble before, we're going to just kind of scoot around the outside of that. No, oh my god. That wasn't even that steep. That wasn't even that steep. How is that... Mm, how is that even, like, even fair? That wasn't even that steep. Promise this will be the last run at that, because... That kind of gets me a little bit angry. I tell you what, let's go this way so we're not running the same path over and over and over again. And who knows, this might actually take us, this might actually take us to the same spot or a different location. Or it might be, like, a, like I said, faster way to the same spot. But either way, let's not be impatient. 
Let I being impatient is not worth it, um, especially when there's trees to winch to. Although, right here, right here, it's okay. I think right here, it's okay to go around the outside because it's not steep. It, there's no. Yeah, there's nothing to deal with as far as you know, a steep grade or something like that. There is a cloaking point though, which is nice. How are we gonna get to that? Uh, I don't know about that. That's kind of in the middle of a group of trees. I kind of don't want to deal with that. Oh, screw it. It's right up the hill. <laughs> screw it. It's right up the hill. We're getting it. Alrighty then. The trees want to get in the way. Fair enough. I'm just like, fair enough. Trees can get in the way. Whoa, don't even think about it. Need to get... Alright, cloaking removed. Now we can just back up and get get the hell out of that area. Didn't want to spend any more time up there than I had to. Just enough to uncloak it. I kind of want to run with lights. Oh, running with the headlights in, in, oh, in first person. That's cool. Random tree in the middle of the road. That's odd. But that's cool. That's immersive. You want off-road, like, simulation, immersion. Yeah, that's that's where it's at right there. Headlights on, nighttime, and then, uh, cockpit cam. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. We're, no. One. There we go. If you keep forgetting it's the one key and not the V key, since I've been playing so much GTA lately, that you just hit the V key and you expect the view to change, but you don't realize, hey, this is kind of sort of spin tires, and it doesn't work that way. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave the lights off, though, for now, just because, um, are we meeting up with a road that we've met up with before? No. No, we are not, actually. Where does this one go? If we were to go left, it's gonna wind down here, take us to a fuel stop. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a path through the woods, and then we can head out here. Alright, let's head down to the fuel stop, and see what's going on down there, and see if we can hop another trail, kind of through what looks like it might go kind of through the middle of the woods, kind of like through a little, um, through a little bit of a ravine, not a ravine, but a little valley, and see if we can find a way back to close-ish to where we were before. Because all these roads... They don't have to intertwine, but a lot of them do. I guarantee you that a lot of them do. Oh, we're really, really getting it now. We got the speed picking up. Not really speed, momentum, more like it. The road isn't anywhere near as, um, anywhere near as sinky as it was before. It was really slushy before. This, this mud was, this mud was bad. But at least in some of the roads beforehand. But now it's, it's not, it's not too bad. We're, I mean, we're making small ruts, but that's to be expected. There's our fuel station, and it looks like we've got a little bit of a junction here, which is good, so... Let's... but well, we don't need fuel. We really and truly don't need fuel. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna skip right on past the fuel station, and head up to... Yeah, head up to this other trail.